off the ground and he turned around and Bet said, stop there, I'll kick it to you, which is exactly what he did. So Joseph and yeah, kicks it short to Garlett. Now Betts is free at half forward, although Hunt now getting back to cover him. It's against Gary Ablett for being close to Garlett. Protected area, said McBurney. I'll tell you what, he's been a busy umpire, this little bloke. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that's a fair 52 because he's, that he's was on centre wing. That's got to be at least 65 metres. It's interesting because Ablett was waiting for the player to come off the bench, that who was going to be his yeah, opponent. He's, but he's got to know where he is. He's three metres from the kicker in the protected area. So there you heard it, Jeff Garlett, an opportunity after Ablett was three metres from the player. Garlett comes in and misses a golden opportunity there for the Blues. And if Carlton are going to win, they've got to make and take those opportunities. They do, uh, Chris O, but here, here, it is, Gary. here it is, Matty. Now there's Gary Ablett waiting. He hasn't moved, but he hasn't moved away. And that's what umpire McBurney has pinged him for. He's had a lot of influence on this game, umpire McBurney. Yeah, so is this man. Ablett, he's just his sixth disposal this quarter, so not as many as the last, but that's 15, 18 for Judd, 14 for Carazzo for the Blues. Cats going very wide here, needed to be precise. Lonnie going to be happy to oblige. The next one is Mackie. And then where to? Carlton with some extra numbers along the wing, so it won't be easy to design a path here. Goes over, burns his head, went long to the one-on-one. -on -one. Too difficult to handle for Hawkins. Gee, Scotland's been outstanding today. Houlihan, and they're forcing it forward. Yaron, smooth as always. Betts, almost again. Cruiser shows his versatility. Ablett just got it going straight away. Wojcicki gets some help from Kelly. And look at him go in full flight, David Wojcicki. Shows a little bit to Warner. Shows scant regard for the big Ruckman. And keeps on pairing onto half forward. Rook's not having a great return though. And walk against the tears. And 50 again. Oh, yeah, well, and he's... Stevie McBurney's on fire. Uh, Steve McBurney, I tell you what, the Geelong fans, they're not happy with the little man in yellow. I tell you, I admire Warnock for running every step of the way with Wojcicki and in the end was able to affect the kick. Play on this time. Ling to Blake to Ablett. Kick half run down. Mooney's got to react quickly here. Kept it alive. Ling just hesitated for a moment. Wasn't sure to get the ball or apply the tackle. Oh. He applied the tackle. And Bernie lets it go. And the Blues come away through Carazzo. Carazzo high towards half foot in right. Little push out on Yaron. And he's paid the mark at half back. So he goes right back towards his defensive goal square to Milburn who switches the play to the opposite pocket, Mackey. They are finding it difficult to get out of their back half, though, the Cats. Short to Selwood, not a great kick. Oh, missed tackle by Simpson, had him on toast. Now a chance for Mackey. Kick to half back. Kelly, strong hands. Back to Mackey. This is the run we've become accustomed to with the Cats. Now off to Wojcinski. You can measure the kick he does beautifully to Hawkins. Off to Mooney. Oh, not a great kick, but they've got the dangerous Chapman in front. Well done by Lucas, just ripped him off the footy. Well tackled by Rook, but he got the handball. Well played, young man. Off towards Walker, sweeping handball to accommodate Gibbs. Gibbs' short kick is perfect, and Yarren's got it on centre wing. Henderson short, good running ahead of the play by O'Halpin. He can handball to Henderson if he likes, but does, doesn't see him. Back to Houlihan, off a step, ball to the back, big leap up there, yes it's paid, Garland, he'll kick this, he'll swing it back, no he won't, Simpson, Gio got excited there momentarily, didn't have the carry on the kick, it's they exciting, are they are playing an exciting brand of football Rob, they, they are. are, yeah they're playing it on really quickly, look Yaron, Betts and Garland, They've got deficiency, but they're all young. Like, Betts has played 100 games now, and he's a really good player. But the other two, Garlett and Yaron, Yaron in particular, could be very, very special. Bartel is bereft of options there. He's gone for Hogan in the end. Did well on the one-on-one -on -one battle, but the boundary line was there. Hey, they've forced Geelong to go wide, haven't they? The Cats haven't been able to uh, own the corridor. Just watch the Geelong defenders, though. They are trailing in their small... Carlton forwards time and time again have been lucky that Garlett and Betts aren't strong overhead. Houlihan with the up and under. Betts is sweating. It doesn't get there. Oh, that was a mark. Sure, to Simpson. Betts gets it to Judd. He conquers one. He conquers two. And just about finishes wow. it off. Oh. Jeez, exciting, isn't he? 
There's the Simpson attempt. He was a bit stiff there. Now yeah, the kick did. comes in. Taylor the target. Halpin's got to try and prevent Milburn from knocking on. He can't. Now Kelly gets rid of Murphy. Now Taylor can deliver towards half forward. And good mark taken though. He dropped it in the end. Podsy Adley on the up. Numbers with the Blues here. Johnson couldn't control it. Russell. Murphy. Off to Jamison. Oh, gee, got himself into an awful mess there. Gets out of it luckily towards Henderson. Haven't seen too much of it. Looping handball over the top's okay. Yaron, little left foot kick is a beauty into Hallahan. And he can settle. He's got Gallard all by himself in the goal square, but he turns his back on the play. Needs to kick the goal. Gallant still in the goal square by himself. Uh, well done to the Blues. They ran that ball. Jamison, he almost got into strife, but he did try to create things. Stevie Johnson, hey, Stevie gave up on the chase. He's blown up. And the man on him, Rob, I think has been fantastic. Uh, Jordan Russell, he's doing a great job, not only stopping Steve Johnson, but giving him a bit of runoff halfback also. So Ryan Houlihan, a goal in the first quarter. This would increase the lead to 25 points. Beautiful kick. Carlton in control of the MCG. Well, he's played a very good first half of football, Ryan Houlihan. He's controlled his opponent, Enright, for the bulk of this first half. He's kicked a couple of goals. And we can just see Jamison battling his way through the numbers there, but he persisted where a couple of cats dropped off. Mackey's effort was pretty ordinary there too. And uh, it'll give the Blues a lot of confidence. They're going to go in at half time with a very handy lead. You win games in today's football in the midfield and it's been 28 inside 50s to the Blues and only 17 to the Cats. Yet the clearance count is 19 to 15. So they've been able to win the ball back, the Blues, and they're getting out of the middle again and it's getting very dangerous for Geelong. Helping Mackey. The Blues just, just love the contest today. And the other great sign for the Blues is that they're winning more of the ball.